morning everybody. It's Chris Gearnor from the forums, shavingcadre.com. And good to be back with you. It's my weekly shave video. Um, today I'm going to be using a new to me razor. I got it from um, John the Monkey on the shavingcadre.com. He gave it away in a piff. And it is, ta-da, the Icon El Jefe. Well, the head is anyway. Uh, the base of the, the handle is a, a chromed brass handle from, I think it's a Bali uh, razor. Like the kind you can get from Razor Rock. They're, uh, they're a little run-of-the-mill, um, probably out of China, uh, DE that you can buy. They're three-piece, the uh, Razor Rock Tech 2, but um, which is a good razor. Uh, I guess I can't knock it. I've used it before. and uh, But uh, this is the first AC style um, single-edge razor that I've used, and I had it since, I want to say Saturday, Sunday, no? Wait, no, Friday. Saturday was its first shave. I shaved with it yesterday, so today will be its third shave. The blade is a Feather Pro blade. It's like on its 12th shave today. I used a, a well-used Feather blade just to kind of have that calm edge and not have that hyper sharp edge right away, uh, which was good. It was the first time that I used it, and even yesterday there was a couple moments where I was like, oh, did I just cut myself? But I didn't. No blood loss yet. Uh, maybe I'll prove that wrong today. But uh, good razor so far. Um, a lot of folks say it's really aggressive. It does have a lot of uh, blade exposure. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, yeah, it's got a lot of blade exposure on there. Pretty decent gap. Um, but it's actually a pretty smooth razor if you can uh, keep the angle where you're riding the cap a little bit more. Um, I do have some trouble because I'm still learning uh, that uh, how to keep that angle. Um, so once in a while I'll lose it and then I'll feel a little bit uh, rougher of a shave. But uh, so far, so good. Really nice razor. Thanks, John, for passing that. Uh, soap today, I've already done my pre-shave, which was just like a full uh, lathered brush of Williams. Just nice and smoothed all over my face and let that sit for a minute or two and my regular shave soap today will be soap commander commitment it's their sandalwood scent it's a vegan soap um i don't pull it out often don't pull it out often enough but captain's choice venture i uh, prefer the fine scent but this is a very nice one a little bit more of that pineapple citrus it doesn't last or project quite as long though as fine does, but that's okay. Razor Rock Big Bruce, of course. Um, and I think that'll be it. I got my generic Witch Hazel standing by from Tarjay. But uh, yeah, let me wet my face again real quick. <clears throat> face is still nice and slick from the Williams. Um, that, uh, that little pre-shave tip was from Chris Lindsay, CBL Soaps, um, using Williams as a pre-shave works out pretty nice, especially on the days that, um, I haven't showered or done like a full prep. It leaves a nice slickness, a coating of slickness on the skin for a pass or two. All right, that looks like plenty. So there's the load there. You saw it probably like 10 seconds or something like that. I didn't exactly count, but uh, all right. I've been 
playing around with having a slightly more wet brush when I'm loading my soaps. I did also bloom the soap. That helped out since it's a very hard puck. But <clears throat> not starting out so dry. Seems to help me build the ladder a little bit better, a little quicker. I used to start out pretty dry, like the brush would be only just damp. Some softer soaps I still do that, like uh, CBL soaps, just because they load so easily. But for harder soaps, it helps to have a little bit wetter of a brush on top of blooming it. At least for me. gobs of lather. <clears throat> that looks good. Nacho! So what's going on? Finished the work weekend on Saturday. My uh, my work weeks are a, a day off from everybody else, but uh, yeah, I did that. Um, most of the regular holiday, Christmas, seasonal decorating is done at the church where I work. Um, the only things left are there's a uh, <clears throat> a children's Christmas concert that happens tonight, uh, singing and a little bit of uh, a performance going on. Uh, two of my kids, the younger two, are involved in that. And um, we have Christmas concerts coming up, not this week. Uh, is it this week? No, I think it's next weekend. Like today's the third. Yeah, I think it's next weekend. But. Uh, <clears throat> That's always good. That's the 100 piece or 100 voice choir, full orchestra, um, full production kind of thing. Got our tree yesterday. Went to. Uh, Home Depot, not quite as cheap as uh, going to Lassen, our national park, which is close by, a couple hours away, and getting one for 10 bucks, but um, it was still a pretty good deal. I do miss doing that, though. That was a fun trip we used to do when we lived in Chico, because Lassen was only like an hour away up there, and so we get to go see some snow, And um, cut down our own tree, get the hacksaw out and literally cut down our own tree. Uh, the first time doing that was quite an experience. Uh, what was it? Back, I think it might have been our, our second year married, we decided to do that. We lived in Chico for around five years, but I think the second year we decided to do that. And went up. To Lassen, to just a, uh, you get the tags from specific local st shops in the area. And the one we got from was like a diner, dive bar, kind of <laughs> uh, backwoodsy kind of place. Um, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I um, walked in and had to figure things out, and so we got our tags for whatever, $10, and uh, at that time, my, 
my car was a Jeep Wrangler with a soft top. And it was an old, pretty beat up Wrangler. So not only was it, oh, and it had no heating. Well, it had heating, but it was like, heating from the engine overheating. <laughs> instead of actual heat because it was old and noisy on the freeways you know if you ever had a convertible uh, or some kind of soft top uh, automobile or a car or anything like that or SUV then you know once you get going on the highway it's super noisy and uh, the Jeep especially it's like a loose canvas so it's flapping it's like <laughs> and going up there without heat and the Wrangler losing losing power on the major hills and wondering if we're gonna make it up to our destination. But going back down is fine. I mean you just put that thing in like fourth gear and cruise on the way down, tap the brakes every once in a while. But uh yeah. So but we uh uh get up there and just at some random point decide, okay, this looks like a good spot. I think it's still within the area. They give you a map of the area you can cut trees down in. And we'd say to ourselves, okay, I think this is a good spot. I don't feel like driving anymore. It's cold. I don't know if the <laughs> Jeep's going to make it that far or any farther. Or... This looks like a good spot. So we'd park on the side of the road and... In a little bit of snow. I mean, the ground is covered with snow, probably a good few inches at least of not hard packed snow. But I mean, there'd be hard packed snow underneath it. But um, and then we just hike off like a quarter mile into the forest, start looking around. Does that look like a good tree? Can we cut those ones? I don't know. And then we'd go a little further and find another patch and finally we'd see something that we liked that we're pretty sure was a... We like the fir trees because of their branch spacing. So we'd be searching for those. Find a decent size one or just get fed up with looking and <laughs> pick one. And then we'd... Cut it down, wrap it up as best we could, and haul it back to the Jeep, and head back down the mountain with this Christmas tree flopping around outside the back of the Jeep. <laughs> Fun experience. I know lately we haven't done that. There's a few farms close by to Sacramento, <clears throat> like in the in the hills around um, what's it called, Apple Hill and whatnot. But I haven't tried that as yet. I haven't gone back to Lassen for a while. Maybe one year. Haven't decorated it yet, but yesterday was spent setting up for that. Getting the living room arranged. We have a rather small living room. Just enough space for a TV stand, the TV, some game stuff. One three-seater couch and two chairs and a uh,
table. So fitting in the tree was a little bit of a chore. But it fits. It smells great. The tree is pretty fresh. Um, I do love pine smell. And especially as the tree sits longer in the house and goes through its death cycle, it starts putting out a lot of scent and I love it because you just enter the house or the room and just get that nice fresh wood outdoorsy smell. <clears throat> I did spend a lot of yesterday on some much neglected outside yard work. Getting up a ton of leaves and mowing the lawn and cleaning out the gutters. This is after church. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> like, whew. I'll find it later. <laughs> I'm surprised because this is pretty thick. Well, not thick, but slick and not watery. Whatever. All right. So, <clears throat> back to the El Jefe, though. This was uh, one of the first batch, so it's got some QC problems, but still, surprisingly, all with all those problems, if you set the blade in right. It performs really nicely, uh, in my opinion. I don't know what the uh, later versions had, and I don't know what the metal's made out of. It looks like some kind of cast metal. Um, that's for sure. You can just tell from some of the uh, rougher machining marks, and uh, there's a lot of unevenness here and there, but overall, um, where it matters, the design of the razor is pretty solid and delivers. Um, I do have to be careful on the against the grain, um, because that's if anywhere where it's going to bite the most, but it's a nice heavy razor, feels pretty solid. And you know. The head is inexpensive, which I appreciate. Whatever they made it out of, it's just a good, a good razor. I mean, I know that uh, Icon got a lot of flack for releasing this version uh, without uh, doing more testing and refining and catching the problems, but. For the price it was set at, it's just a darn good razor. We'll see how it goes. I'll be swapping the blade pretty soon to a flesh, flesh, fresh, super. It's not a super, it's a pro. I am on point today, aren't I? But <clears throat> even now, um, after the second shave, I'm getting to the point where um, the results are very similar to what I'd get with uh, the Feather SS Shavette. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It's a good sign. I'm pretty happy overall with what I'm getting out of this. It's 
my um, my version of the doctor. <laughs> it makes me wonder what the asylum feels like. Supposedly, the asylum is slightly more aggressive than this. Now, uh, a couple of guys at the cadre have said it's like shaving with a straight razor on a stick. I did almost pull the trigger Black Friday um, above the tie was doing a special fifty percent off all their razors and their uh, SE one and SE two were were part of that deal on whatever handle you wanted and it would have been like just under a hundred dollars that I couldn't justify it. I hadn't gotten any this yet or the hawk that's coming in and so like I really want to take a chance and and risk a hundred bucks on a format that I have no idea if I'm gonna like or not. I mean part of me Having used this now, wishes I could have, but <clears throat> at the same time, this has given me just fine shapes, so. <clears throat> Alright, that's that. Not too bad. Still could use some more cleanup here and here, but I'm going to leave it for today. I don't have to work, so. Otherwise, pretty decent. I will have to change that blade soon. I can feel it. But, uh, alright, I'll be back in just a minute after some, uh, after post-shave stuff. Alright, just did my lather soak, a little bit of moisturizer, put my witch hazel on. Um, I'm gonna finish up with my venture in just a second. Uh, but I wanted to say that, uh, been shaping up to be a good week so far. Just got a couple more things. Going on today, a couple chores I have to do. Got to run the kids. Uh, my wife is going to be at class tonight. Um, so I got to run the kids to their Christmas concert uh, that I mentioned earlier. That's going to be fun, exciting. An hour Christmas concert. Uh, no, it's usually pretty cute. Uh, they've got kids anywhere from like kindergarten up through like junior high. So it'll be good. Um, my... Uh, Piff stuff is out. Um, it got sent off. I sent it uh, through UPS, which I don't want to do that again. For some reason, they take longer. Their tracking sucks, and um, they didn't actually like do anything with it until like late last night. So whatever. But uh, uh, those piff boxes are out, and uh, my. Christmas Buddies package is on its way as well. Mm -hmm. um, but man, you should see some of the Black Friday deals and Christmas stuff rolling in around the cadre. Like if you need enablement or if you need an excuse for uh, your significant other is to say, look, I'm not that bad on my acquisitions, then you definitely need to join the shavingcadre.com because the hauls that some of these guys have are bringing in body butters and soaps and bath soaps and shaving soaps and aftershaves and EDTs and um, man like it is pouring in but it's pretty cool um, and especially when they when they uh, take the time to review their stuff Captain's Choice Venture going on. That smells good. I do wish it was stronger and lasted longer. Wow. Good stuff. It's uh, not just alcohol. It's got witch hazel in here also. So it's good that way too. I'll do the little 
cologne kind of stuff going on here. I know it's not quite the same, but I won't be wearing a fragrance today, so. All right, that's the shave for this week. And uh, hope it's all shaping up to be a good week for you guys too as we get closer to Christmas. Um, good luck getting all your shopping done. Don't wait till last minute. Don't be that guy. But uh, hope things are shaping up well. Have a great work week if you're working this week. And if you're not and you're on vacation, have a great vacation week. Um, anyways, you can check me out and the rest of the guys. Great videos, great banter. Bingo's going on. It should be closing up here in this week, I think. A lot of us are only about three or four calls away from a bingo. Um, that's being put on by TJ, Doc Holiday on the forums, and um, Josh's Piff uh, should be officially on its way um, come the end of this month. We're looking forward to the results of that. If there are any results, it's all reliant on the Powerball. But um, check all that out. Good stuff going on at theshavingcadre.com. Hope to see you there. I'm Gear Noor, Chris. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.